Remove and replace parts for the HP Elite Desk 8 Mini G1A Desktop Next Gen AI PC. Tools you need. How to replace the access panel. No tools are required to remove or install this assembly. Removal. Loosen the thumb screw on the rear of the computer. Slide the panel forward and then lift it off the computer. Replacement. Place the panel in position. Slide the panel backward. Tighten the thumb screw at the rear of the computer. How to replace the front bezel. Tools for the task. Phillips screwdriver. Before you begin, remove the access panel. Removal. Remove the five Phillips screws that secure the bezel to the access panel. Rotate the top of the bezel outward and then remove it from the access panel. Replacement. Align the bezel with the access panel at a slight angle. Rotate the bezel flat against the access panel. Replace the five Phillips screws that secure the bezel to the access panel. How to replace the fan. No tools are required to remove or install this assembly. Before you begin, remove the access panel. Removal. Rotate the fan up and away from the computer. Disconnect the fan cable from the system board. Lift the fan to a 45 degree angle, then lift the fan out of the computer. Replacement. Insert the fan at a 45 degree angle. Connect the fan cable to the system board. Lower the fan flat into place. How to replace the speaker. No tools are required to remove or install this assembly. Before you begin, remove the access panel. Removal. Disconnect the speaker cable from the system board connector. Pull up on the tabs that secure the speaker. Lift the speaker to remove it from the computer. Replacement. Lower the speaker into place. Push down on the tabs to secure the speaker. Connect the speaker cable to the system board. How to replace the wireless LAN module. Tools for the task. Phillips screwdriver and tweezers. Before you begin, remove the access panel. Removal. Remove the tape covering the antenna connections. Disconnect the antenna cables from the wireless LAN module. Use caution to not damage the cables. A damaged cable can degrade performance. Remove the Phillips screw that secures the module to the computer. Pull the module out of the socket and remove. Replacement. Align the wireless LAN module with the socket and press it into place. Replace the Phillips screw that secures the module. Connect the antenna connectors to the module. Use caution to not damage the cables. A damaged cable can degrade performance. Antennas are labeled 1 and 2. Ensure the cable number corresponds with the marked position on the wireless LAN module. Replace the tape over the antenna connections. How to replace the memory modules. No tools are required to remove or install this assembly. Before you begin, remove the access panel and the fan. Removal. Lift the protective cover to reveal the memory modules. 
Press outward on the two latches on each side of the memory module to release it. Pull the memory module out of the socket and remove. Replacement. Align the pins of the memory module with the memory socket. Slide the memory module into the socket at a 30 degree angle. Press down on the memory module until the two latches click, securing the module in place. How to replace the solid state drive? No tools are required to remove or install this assembly. Before you begin, remove the access panel. Removal. Open the green latch that secures the drive. Push the connector away from the solid state drive module. Lift the flexible SSD shield back. Then, pull the SSD out of the system board connector and remove. Replacement. Lift the flexible SSD shield back. Align the pins of the SSD with the socket and slide it into place. Push down on the SSD and replace the SSD shield. Press down on the green latch that secures the SSD. How to replace the battery? Tools for the task. A flat-bladed tool. Before you begin, remove the access panel. Removal. Squeeze the latch and lift the cover to open it. Then remove the battery cover. Press the metal clamp that extends above one edge of the battery. When the battery pops up, lift it out. Replacement. With the positive side up, insert the battery into the battery socket at an angle. Then, press the battery down until it locks into place. The battery holder automatically secures the battery in the proper position. Place the battery cover in position. Rotate the cover onto the battery socket, and then press the cover down until it locks into place. How to replace the Flex I.O. connector board. Tools for the task. Phillips screwdriver. Before you begin, remove the access panel. Removal. Remove the two Phillips screws that secure the board to the computer. Lift the board to disconnect it from the connector on the system board and remove. Replacement. Place the board into position. Press down to reconnect the board to the system board. Replace the two Phillips screws that secure the connector board. How to replace the heatsink. Tools for the task. Torque screwdriver and thermal grease. Before you begin, remove the access panel and the fan. Removal. Loosen the three captive torque screws that secure the heatsink in numerical order. Lift the heatsink from the computer. Using a clean cloth, wipe away any remaining thermal grease from the computer and heatsink. Replacement. Apply a small amount of thermal grease to the processor. Place the heatsink into position. Tighten the three captive torque screws that secure the heatsink in numerical order. How to replace the system board? Tools for the task. Torque screwdriver. Before you begin, remove the access panel, heatsink, fan, speaker, and the wireless LAN module. Removal. Disconnect all cables from the system board and note their location for reinstallation. Remove the four torque screws that secure the system board to the computer. Lift the left side of the system board and then remove it from the computer. Replacement. Lower the system board into place. Replace the four torque screws that secure the system board to the computer. Reconnect all cables to the system board.